More than 6 in 10 people wear either glasses or contact lenses. And the United States Air Force offers corrective eye surgery for their personnel. But you can't go barging in demanding surgery. It's a careful process to make sure you're ready for and receiving the proper procedure. First thing is it begins with a routine eye exam. And so you just call and set up an appointment. And then when you come in for your routine eye exam from there, uh, that's when you can ask about it and we'll start initiating and, and seeing if you're a candidate. Misinformation about how military members can get PRK or LASIK treatments can be a problem. So Tech Sergeant Hutchinson hopes to set the record straight. One of the biggest fallacies out there is that uh, people think that there's some sort of two year long waiting list and that's incorrect. You have to show stability for over a year. So you need two eye exams or at least a year apart with no changes. You also have to have six months of retainability and that's so that uh, the military knows that we're gonna have at least six months to do your post-operative exams and make sure that you're healthy. We're just doing the, the pre-operative work and the post-operative. So we do our best to predict everything for you. Masawa Air Base's optometry clinic is looking out for your vision and your future. Senior Airman Sarah Mitchell, Masawa Air Base, Japan.